Well, our top story tonight, it really hasn't been a good day for the Samajwadi party. Under fire for announcing that MLAs could buy cars worth up to 20 lakh rupees from their development funds, Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav reversed that decision this morning, barely 24 hours after suggesting it. His party came under attack as well for inviting jailed MLAs to a lunch hosted for Pranam Mukherjee. From free cars for MLAs to jailed MLAs that roam freely. Akhilesh Yadav making headlines for all the wrong reasons. First, two of Uttar Pradesh's notorious MLAs and murder accused Mukhtar Ansari and Vijay Mishra were seen roaming freely at a high-profile banquet for presidential hopeful Pranam Mukherjee, openly flouting orders. In fact, the men were driven there in ambulances. Bulayam Singh Yadav and CM Akhilesh Yadav were both present at the lunch. When asked, this was Akhilesh's response to the blatant disregard of law and order. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, so, this comes barely 24 hours after the young CM announced the 20 lakh rupee car bonanza for MLAs. After severe criticism, today a complete U turn. This is the first जो गाड़ी की बात रखी गई थी उस फैसले को सरकार वापस ले रही मैं वापस ले रहा हूं मैं समझता हूं कि उन्होंने उचित कदम उठाया लोकतंत्र में पहली बात तो ऐसे निर्णय लेने के पहले उन्हें सारे राजनीतिक दलों के लोगों से वार्ता करनी चाहिए for a government that is just 100 days old and run by the youngest chief minister of the country the burden of expectations is far greater but by flip flops and defending the freedom of jailed MLAs, is Akhilesh Yadav once again repeating the same mistakes that he promised he had abandoned? In Lucknow, with camera person Ramesh Varma, Anand Zanane for NDTV. Well, this whole controversy has uh, sparked off a debate on funds for legislators and why we need these funds at all. Basically, the MP Local Area Development Scheme was started in 1993. Under that scheme, each MP gets 5 crore rupees and the idea is to spend it on the development of their constituencies on things like water, sanitation and roads. At the state level, there's a similar fund for MLAs and each state has its own amount allotted for MLAs. For example, it's 4 crores in Delhi, it's 1.5 crores in UP. But with growing evidence over the years that the funds were being misused, in 2010, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar took the unprecedented step of scrapping the MLA fund in the state altogether. Latest data shows that the Prime Minister tops the list of MPs in terms of the utilisation of the funds with the highest 90.5% utilization of money that's allotted to him and his constituency. Sonia and Rahul Gandhi, though, are far behind Dr. Manmohan Singh, using 58.9 and 35.35% of their money, respectively. That brings us to our first debate tonight. Should MP and MLA funds be scrapped altogether? Do they really serve any purpose? Joining us on the program tonight, we have the two spokespersons of the national political parties. We'll be joined by Renuka Chaudhary of the Congress and Rajiv Pratap Rudi of the BJP. Joining us from the Samajwadi Party tonight is Dr. Taslim Ahmed Rahmani in the studio with us in Delhi. Ariman Sundaram, senior lawyer, joins us from Delhi and senior journalist Kumar Ketkar joins us from Mumbai. Uh, Dr. Rahmani, obviously not a very good day for the Samajwadi Party today. The chief minister had to reverse a big decision that he announced yesterday. Would the party concede that this was a mistake, that this whole announcement was a big mistake and backfired? No, I don't agree that uh, it was a bad day for Samajwadi Party at all. 
it's a victory of samajwadi party that we could tell the whole of the nation that we are a democratic party we believe in democracy we be we believe in socialism we took a firm decision yesterday and our government when it felt and it smelled that the general people public and opposition is not happy with this decision we have the courage to take the decision back so this is what we have very clearly told the entire nation that the samajwadi party is a democratic party and we are running our government on okay. the democratic basis and we our intentions are quite clear that we we don't want at all at any level the corrupt practices we want to stop at the outset all corrupt practices to develop the entire uttar pradesh this is what we want so i don't think this is a bad day for samajwadi okay. party Let at all India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for Retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.